Guys, quick update on electric scooters and whether or not they're legal in the UK. Coming right up. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scene Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't stopped by here before, please be sure to click the subscribe button, click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, the first video that I'm making from my new car. I've hardly driven this thing since lockdown, but uh, in fact, I only bought it just before lockdown. But in any case, I just thought I'd give you a quick update on whether or not electric scooters are legal in the UK. So guys, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I'm into electric scooters and I think that uh, they're absolutely amazing pieces of transport and a lot of fun. The big thing has always been in the UK as to whether or not they're legal or not. And, you know, up until last month, they weren't legal. But since lockdown and COVID-19, the government in the UK have decided in their infinite wisdom to make them legal. So when I say to make them legal, that was the hope. So last month, the first trial started in Middlesbrough. It was uh, hosted by a company called Ginger and they put 50 scooters, rental scooters out there. Now the rules around electric scooters in the UK are that you have to have a driving license. So you have to be old enough and you have to have one, either a provisional or a sort of driving license. Why? I've no idea and I still fail to see how different this is between electric scooters and electric bikes. But that's the law. And in actual fact, the law also said you didn't need to wear a helmet. And that doesn't make any sense to me. So anyway, the law's the law. So Ginger put out 50 scooters in Middlesbrough and they were hired by a bunch of teenagers who just literally didn't give a stuff about anything. Yes, you're always gonna get people that are gonna spoil it for you. And they have. So these guys decided, well, I don't know if they were guys, guys and gals, people, young people, people with no driving license whatsoever on rental scooters. So they got no ownership or consideration for them either. Decided to tear up and down the dual carriageways, ride through shopping malls, malls. I'm in the UK, but yeah, you know, shopping centers, shopping malls, call it what you like and terrorize shoppers. And as a consequence, they've been banned before they've even got started. So yeah, thank you to all of you guys that cocked it up for the rest of us. Now, why the government saw fit to do trials with rentals and not with scooters that people have bought and they're gonna care about and they've spent their own hard earned money on and they're gonna respect, etc., etc. I don't know, but it's mildly frustrating. So yes, right now, I'm hoping that the government do see fit to kind of know that people are always gonna spoil it. There's always gonna be a bunch of people that will spoil it for the rest. In fact, a very similar thing happened to Australia or in some parts of Australia, and their government did see fit to sort of realize that, yeah, you know, you're always gonna get a bad bunch of people that are gonna spoil it for the others. And, you know, they saw fit to legalizing it. So I'm kind of hoping that this will be the same situation in the UK. Um, I guess time will tell, but the first outing was not pleasant. So guys, um, that's my quick update. Sad, bad news for us that we're really, really expecting some positive results out of this. But I'm hoping it's not all over. Stay tuned to the channel, guys, and I will keep you up to date with the latest and greatest. Um, if you like the channel, if you like the video, please click on the like button. Please leave any comments, questions in the comments section below. I'm Dave from Seen for a Lens. Please subscribe, click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos, and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.